Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This month I've been filming a couple of videos about being eco-friendly because it's Earth Month and that's something that has become increasingly important to me over time. In my last video, I did mention a few products that I've been using recently and was doing a giveaway as well. By the time this video goes up, there should still be some time for you to enter the giveaway from my last video where I talk about a few items that I've been using to be more eco-friendly. So I will leave all that information down in the description box below so you can make sure you enter for a chance to win. But in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about some ways that you can be eco-friendly for free without having to purchase anything, but just making some easy lifestyle changes that can ultimately help a whole lot. So the first item that I'm going to mention is to shop at farmer's market. I know that right now our situation is a little bit different and we're not able to go outside and be in large groups of crowds or anything like that. But prior to all of this uh, crazy stuff going on, I was trying to shop at farmer's markets a little bit more. There is a local farm where I live where you can basically go and shop online for produce items. And right now they're allowing you to shop online and pick up curbside. So I think that's a really great option for people who may Maybe you don't want to do any in-person grocery shopping right now um, if you can find somewhere near you that does stuff like that so for me personally I live in Hawaii and there's a farm called Mari's Gardens it is a little bit of a drive for me but um, I can basically go online tell them what I want and they get it ready for me so I just drive up and they just throw it in my trunk and I'm on my way so I don't have to interact with a bunch of people like in a store and all that kind of stuff like worrying about what people are touching and all that so that's definitely an option that I've been doing recently and I found that it's been working really great for me because I can still pick the items that I want to buy and just easily go and pick them up. So the second item and again this is another one that's really tough right now. So in a nutshell I have been trying to be more mindful about shopping online because shopping online comes with a whole bunch of packing you know cardboard plastic and all these things that need to be made so that companies can package it up and send it to us. And that's something that was bothering me because I probably shop more than I should um, which leads to another topic I'm getting into later but you know right now it's been really tough for me and I've been trying to shop less or like trying to alleviate the want to buy anything because I know that it comes with all that packaging and once everything is all good and we can all go back out into the world I will you know pick back up on shopping within the store um, because that's one less thing that somebody will have to package up and send to me because that's less waste that I'll end up throwing away in the trash anyway um, so I'm hoping that you know sometime soon things can go back to as normal as they can be and I can go back to purchasing things in store but that's something that I was definitely trying to do a lot more a few months ago um, was to you know try to not shop online as much so something that I've been trying to do a lot more of in general is to just be more mindful of what I buy. A lot of times before I would buy something just because it was on sale, I would add on a second item just so I could get additional like dollar amount or percentage off. I would get the thing that would let me get the free gift and all that kind of stuff. But I realized that that's really unnecessary. Um, a lot of these free gifts and add-ons I don't even end up using them. I, I decided, you know what, I don't need to meet this minimum or whatever, like that kind of thing. I don't have to think so hard about wanting to get that extra deal. Sometimes that makes you spend more money anyway. So just being just generally more mindful of what you buy, um, you know, it also helps reduce clutter in your house that you don't end up like throwing away or donating or whatever anyway as well. Sorry, I'm kind of chatting a lot here, but really at the end of the day, it's just being more mindful of what you buy. My next tip is to use a refillable water bottle. So that's something that I've been doing for a super long time now. I think I've only bought like plastic water bottles if I've been like traveling or if I needed water in an emergency and I just happened to forget my water bottle at home or something like that or maybe in the car. It's only happened maybe a few times in the past few years. Um, but I've always felt really guilty when I had to do that to be honest with you guys because I'm just so used to carrying water with me in a reusable water bottle. So that's something that you know I think you do have to spend a little bit just to get one to begin with but you can always wash it and reuse it every single day after that um, so that's something that I highly recommend definitely gets rid of a lot of plastic water bottle waste I'm definitely a person who will take my water bottle to the office to the mall wherever I'm going I know right now we're not going out a lot but that's normally what I would do and it was really easy for me to make sure that I was hydrated and also a great way to keep my water cold or if I was drinking hot tea or something like that it would stay hot as well so I think it's a great idea and there are definitely a lot of great options out there 
for work because I've been so accustomed to working in an office. I do tend to bring home lunch with me a lot. Um, right now I am working remotely from home, but I mean, another option could be that you're using actual dishes that you're washing instead of like paper plates and plastic utensils. So I think that's another great way to reduce your waste when you can just use containers or plates and things that you already have and you can just wash them and reuse them. It definitely cuts back on the waste and obviously saves you some money too because you don't have to keep buying and replenishing these items once you've used them up. And the last item I have here is something that I kind of struggled with a little bit, um, adjusting to saying no to this, but saying no to beauty samples. I know a lot of times we go shopping, like at the mall, at beauty counters or whatever, or even online purchases where they're letting you choose a few different samples that you can get at home. And I think there's something on the inside that makes you feel happy about getting something extra because recently I have been spending a whole lot more time at home, which a lot of us out there are, probably most of us out there are, I did go through and declutter things that I haven't been using and one of those things included sample items and I threw away so many things I just knew I wasn't going to use. So I do think that this is another great mindfulness practice, like maybe only pick the samples that you know you really want to try because it is going to end up to be a future purchase for you later on but maybe forego or say no to the options that you are never gonna open up and use. I notice that sometimes when I'm shopping online and I do have the option to get some samples, I don't like most of the samples that they're showing me, so I'll just skip on the samples. Like, they're really not necessary in my opinion. So I've learned to say no to samples unless I really, really want them and wanna try out a product to see if I'm going to like it and buy it in the future. All right, you guys, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to jump on that giveaway that I'm doing. I will leave the information down in the description box below. I hope that this video was helpful for you in um, thinking about different ways that you can be more eco-friendly and sometimes on a very little or no budget because some of these items are just small lifestyle changes that you can make um, that can make a big impact in the future. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to hit subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.